Okay, Leos. The overall energy of this reading is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about security, stability, groundedness. Uh, it can signify um, an offer of security, uh, like marriage or an engagement or something like that. But let's read on. Let's find out why the Ace of Pentacles surrounds your, your entire reading. Up here in your highest energy, the Fool. Um, so the Fool. <laughs> the Fool is a lot of fun. The Fool is gaiety, um, throwing caution to the wind. Um, it, it might be about taking a leap of faith, or it can be about going along with your head in the clouds, not looking forward. So if that's the case, the Fool usually finds themselves at the edge of this cliff right here. And uh, then things start to fall apart because um, the caution that was thrown to the wind um, and just enjoying every moment, and it's usually a fun card, a fun energy to be in, uh, it, it doesn't last that long because you're not looking forward. So let me find out if this is a, about you seeking advice from the universe here about taking a leap of faith or if it's about you not looking forward, just looking up into the sky and living in the moment. It's right next to the hanged man. The hanged man, this is seeking advice from the universe. This is a card of enlightenment. See how the head is all lit up? Well, I always like to look around this card specifically. Let's find out what the universe has to say about you needing guidance. So, for one thing, the Fool card is right next to it. So, you know, whatever energy this is here, I don't, I don't know if this is an offer. Still, I still don't know why the Fool card is in your highest energy. You probably do. <laughs> So let's read on. Next to the hangman is the hermit. Again, seeking advice from the universe. And not only just advice from the universe, but about your path forward. So this is the card of Virgo. Virgo might be strong in your chart. might be strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. But the hermit is here to try to give us some guidance. And that's exactly what you're asking for is guidance here. Under the full card is the page of wands. Now, this is about speaking up, speaking out, um, about something maybe you have been holding within that needs to really come out. It's about a fresh start. It's about a new beginning. You're asking advice about your path forward. This card is sitting right next to the Ace of Pentacles and under the Fool card. So I'm thinking that you have been living in this Fool energy of throwing caution to the wind. And I think that what's happening is uh, you're changing. You're starting to look forward now. And that's why you're seeking advice from the universe about your path forward and, you know, how to handle this. Because you're not in the same energy. You're, you're moving out of this full energy. Excuse me. <coughs> common for me to cough during a reading. <laughs> Very common. So, um, here you are. And it's like... You know, getting the, the courage to speak out about this fresh start or new beginning. You're ready for change. Okay? And it's under the full card. You're ready to change this, this energy and move towards something more grounded. That's why the Ace of Pentacles is surrounding this whole reading. The hangman is right above this Ace of Pentacles. So, seeking advice from the universe. It's about the full energy. And it is about be, wanting to be more grounded. You may even want to offer something to uh, your partner about becoming more grounded in this relationship. On the other side of this Ace of Pentacles, and under the Hermit card, is the Five of Swords. So, the Hermit. This is connected to the Hermit. Uh, showing you your path forward. This is getting your truth and your clarity. And I think this is about speaking up. I think you need to speak out about your truth and clarity. And also, I think you need clarity from whoever it is that you're involved with. So the five of swords is, is getting your truth and clarity. You've got three of five swords. There's still two laying on the ground. I think about whether this other person would be interested in, um, you know, making this a more 
stable relationship in one form or another. Uh, how do you go about it? That's probably, you know, what you're asking the hangman. What is your path forward? Um, I think that you are, you've been hesitating, and that's why it's been brewing, okay? Because you're thinking they might walk away when you bring this up. You're thinking that they might turn their back on you. But about your path forward is getting that truth, getting that clarity. It's very important here. Uh, the King of Swords now, Leo's, is right below the Page of Wands. Speaking up, here we go again. Truth and clarity. Your sword is up. You're in self-defense mode. So you speak up. It's, it, it's a hard thing to get started with this conversation. But you're seeking that truth and you're seeking that clarity. And you're sort of taking a stand for yourself with this page of wands because you're wanting to move forward. If they have no interest in moving forward, I think that you will uh, be looking back at them. Okay? With this five of swords. Let's read on. Next to the king of swords is the queen of cups. That's under the ace of pentacles. So part of the truth and the clarity that you need is about the love. Uh, this is the only cup in the deck that has a lid on it. The queen, male or female, is trying to peek in those little windows around that cup because you have questions about love. And it's going to come up. You know, it's, it, it's, it's going to come up. You're going to have the courage. You're going to bring it up. And you're going to want to know, you know, what are your feelings about this? It's so much fun when we get together, but it seems to me you want to move forward from the fool energy uh, just being plain old carefree, not thinking about the future or what's in front of you, to thinking about the future and maybe what's ahead. So you're trying to figure out if they have the love to uh, become uh, in uh, to be to enter a committed relationship of some sort. This could be anything from monogamy to uh, marriage. So here we are. Leos, you're speaking up on your own behalf, okay, for your own good, because you want to move forward. Uh, you've, you've sought advice from the universe on how to do this. The hermit is saying, and the hangman is saying, um, you know, that you've been in this full energy, and you're, you're trying to understand what's been going on. And to start, you're starting to look forward. You need something more grounded. They understand that. And the Hermit is here to try to show you the way to do that. So next to the Queen of Cups is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands, communication. I mean, right below the Five of Swords. Um, and right next to the Queen of Cups, all those love questions. This cup is full of answers to love questions that, that you're trying to peek into. You have a lot. You, you need to know the truth, you know, how they feel about you. And you're also trying to... Um, know exactly how you feel about them, you know. Uh, I think you pretty well know that you have love for them because you're holding this big old cup of love. Oh, let me point out, too, that the Queen of Cups is water energy. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer might be strong in your chart someplace or strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. The King of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius might be strong in your chart or strong in somebody else's chart around this reading. But this communication, this Eight of, so of, of Wands, is right under all this truth. Okay? All this asking the questions, it's all about the communication. I think there's going to be a lot. I think there's going to be some face-to-face. -face. It's going to start face-to-face, -face, and it's going to continue. It's going to continue through texting, phone calls, um, or Skype or Zoom, however that you communicate through the air, all right, through the airways. Let's take out the second part of this reading. I'd really like to see what else it is that you need to know. Uh, I'd like to know where this is going. Okay, let's start here in your highest energy, the Ace of Cups. This, okay, you do have feelings. Okay, Queen of Cups here. You're trying to figure out if they feel the same way about you. You have a giant cup of love. What you would really like is an equal exchange of that. So it's like this relationship, um, you really want it to move forward. Because you're getting 
a lot more feelings, I think, than you first anticipated in this relationship because you were just throwing caution to the wind and having fun. And then all of a sudden you're finding yourself in this place where, oh my heck, I want them in my life for a long time. This Ace of Cups is right next to the Page of Cups. You're wondering if this is how they feel about you. Now, the Page of Cups, this is one of the cards for Pisces. Pisces might be strong in your chart, might be strong around this reading. There's a fish in the cup. So what this is telling me is what you're, one of your fears and one of the things that you are seeking truth about is how much love do they have for you? Here's the Queen of Swords. Also, Air Energy, um, Air, our Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Might be strong in your chart, might be strong in their chart, but this is seeking and speaking the truth. And it's about the love. It's about how much love do they have for you? You know, that, that you love them. You're starting to love them so much. And you're wondering, you know, is it just a little bit that they have for you? Because with the fish in the cup, there's not a lot of room for love. But I feel like this is just, this is something that you're worried about. This is something you need to get cleared up. Under the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is everybody's dream as far as a relationship goes. Security. See the pentacles right in the middle? Stability. Groundedness. This is under one roof. I think you're looking at marriage uh, eventually. I think you're looking at proceeding with this relationship with a different view uh, as far as moving it forward. So there's pets, there's a little child, there's extended family, and a couple. And they, you know, they're living under one roof here. And there's a, tons of security and stability here. Tons of groundedness. It's a very secure relationship with lots of love. This is what you're looking at. Now, when you're looking back at them, that's what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, ooh, I wonder if this is going to make it this far. Under the Page of Cups, next to the Ten of Pentacles, is the Seven of Wands. This is blocking. It's like, I think people are trying to give you advice about this. Um, there's something uh, that might be red flags. There's, there's something that um, you don't want to you, you deal with here. And it has to do with this relationship. And it has to do with getting to this Ten of Pentacles. You may have been blocking f this conversation for quite some time. But you do have a lot of questions. And um, it's under the Page of Cups. You need to know. You need to know where they are in this relationship. If they're on the same page with you, uh, fantastic. But if they're not... Then you need to know what you need to know because you need to know how you're going to proceed forward here in your life because you're 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 kind of done with the fool energy. I mean, you know, it's fun once in a while, but you're ready to you know uh, just take the next step. So right next to the seven of wands is the six of pentacles. This is under the queen of swords. Something else you need to talk about here. This is being breadcrumbed. This is them throwing your scales off balance here. Because um, they're, they're, it's like they're only dishing out enough to keep this relationship afloat. Period. Um, and you feel that way. And I think this is something that is going to be discussed and needs to be discussed. Okay. And you've just been blocking getting into all this, but it's coming to a point now where you need to get into all this. So under the Ten of Pentacles is the Four of Cups. All this conversation. You're afraid that they are going to refuse that giant cup of love that you're willing to offer them. You're afraid that they won't reach out for it. You're afraid they won't want this Ten of Pentacles. This is how you're picturing it. This is why you've been holding back from this conversation. But it's got to the point now you can't hold back any longer with this Page of Wands here. So on the other side of the Four of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles. This is under the Seven of Wands. This is focusing and working on this relationship, on trying to get it grounded. Uh, I feel like you feel like you're the one that's putting the work into it, and they're the one ones that is just kind of feeding it breadcrumbs. 
So you've been focused on it and you feel like they're just kind of feed, you know, breadcrumbing you along. Next to the Eight of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles. There, see, there's, there's a discrepancy between how you're looking at the relationship and how you think now. This You still have to have this conversation, it looks like. How you feel they're looking at the relationship. So this is another fear that you have. that there's, It's going to just blow up into a, an argument. You're going to have an argument over the pentacles. The pentacles that surrounds the whole reading. Let's take out one more card. The three of wands. So the Three of Wands, uh, this is about wondering if this is your ship. So this is part of that conversation. You need to know if they're the person for your future or not. Because if they're not, you're going to hang on to that staff of new beginnings, that staff of new beginnings, and you're going to look out there to see where is your ship, okay? So uh, this whole conversation is um, about knowing what direction you're going to be going with this relationship. So, you know, it just, it just feel, I'm surprised your card didn't show up, the strength card, Leo, because it is taking a lot of strength to come out with it, but it's, it's, it's one of those things that you just can't hold back anymore, and you really need to seek the truth. Now, I don't know, uh, how this is going to work out. It may turn into an argument, but I don't see a breakup. And I also don't see, you know, that this is resolving. So, you know, let me take one more. Let me look at the bottom card. Maybe it will answer justice. The card for Libra. So Libra might be strong in your chart or in their chart. Um, sword up, scales balanced. Hmm. Self-protection mode, truth and clarity, self-justice. You're, go you're going to be rebalanced, definitely. You're going to get rebalanced in this relationship. But I, I don't see that this is working out, like, immediately. I don't see them, like, um, saying, oh, yes, you know, let's, you know, get grounded and all this and that. I think this is more of a... Uh, everybody kind of putting their cards on the table, so to speak, about their feelings and how they see this relationship moving forward. So I can't wait till next month. Um, I really feel like I, I need to know a little bit more uh, on how this is going to work out. But for your reading for the month of May is getting to the bottom of um, how the other person feels and how they see this relationship moving forward.